Hey guys, it's Maddie, and welcome back to my channel, and oh my god, I just forgot I got a new mic. Testing, testing, testing. Hey guys, it's Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I know it's been a little bit since I've posted a video, but I'm coming back at you, and I have a lot of videos planned. All right, so it's a new year. We just finished the month of December and the holiday season, which means that a lot of you may have splurged a little bit. But this video is specifically talking about clearing out minimalism mindset and like just getting rid of stuff. Just to give you guys a little background, um, I did this thing called the Nick Space Awards a few years ago, twice, for two years, and they gave me tons like boxes like this big of just makeup like so much makeup and um, I gave a lot of it away but I did keep a decent amount of it as well when I was like really focusing my life on YouTube um, a lot of it was like very visual and about stuff and I would make all these DIY things that I needed more things to buy to make the DIYs and so I had a lot of things I literally bought a shed just to put my stuff in it, like all of my craft supplies, like just so much stuff. Um, and now I am deciding to clear out a little bit. So that's kind of where that came from. I've always really liked the whole minimalism idea, um, but I could just never really commit to it myself. And to be completely honest, I don't think I can really still commit to it completely, but I just want to work on having that mindset. So I'm going to give you guys some tips that I'm working on and that I think um, if you want to learn more about minimalism and about like how to get rid of clutter and just simplify your life, that's what I'm working on this new year and so I wanted to share some of my tips with you. So the main thing that I am addressing in this video is just clearing like physical clutter from your life. So I came back home from the snow um, to my room on January 1st and I literally couldn't even walk in it. Like it was awful. Step one is just like tidy up. So you know, put things away where they're supposed to be. You, you can't go through things when you already have a mess, you know what I mean? Step two is to literally start in one corner of your room and just like go like just start going through one thing at a time and asking yourself do I really need this questions that I continually asked myself was does this add value to my life does this add function to my life how does this item make me feel would I wear this item on a first date like do I feel confident and like awesome wearing it or like how often am I actually using this item as a general rule you can think have I used this in the past three months or even past like half a year or even past year if you want to do it that much and if you haven't then why are you keeping it you know it's just adding extra clutter adding extra stress adding extra time and maintenance and taking up space there's not really a reason to keep things that you're not really using you know what I mean another thing to be aware of is that something that maybe you used to love and used to bring you joy you might not feel the same way about it now um, I remember in seventh grade I had this brown leather jacket that I adored so much and I would wear it to school every single day without missing a beat and then when I got into high school I, I basically had a fear of brown leather jackets I would not put one on because it was just junior high me and also brown leather jackets don't go with everything I just had a very interesting sense of style um, when I was younger. You could also ask yourself, could this be getting better use from someone else? Um, because when you donate something or when you gift something or even sell something, especially when you sell something, the person who's buying it clearly wants it because they're paying money for it. And then imagine how much better use that item would be getting in someone else's hands and how much better use the money would actually be for you rather than this item that you're not actually really using. For me, I definitely have trouble getting rid of some things that I know I don't necessarily need or maybe you'll use this someday or like I might need it, you know? And so what I actually did, I did this a few months ago. So I went through my room and for all the things that I knew I didn't necessarily need but I didn't want to get rid of, I just put them in a box in the corner of my room and didn't touch them for months and I, they just stayed there and then I looked at them again the other day and I was like hey I didn't even notice these things were actually gone I didn't need them and 
I couldn't get rid of them. Another trick that I learned is you can take your hangers and turn them the opposite direction in your closet. Every time you wear the item, you put the hanger back the right way, and um, at the end of the season or at the end of the few months or however long you want to do it, um, you can look what hangers are still backwards, which are the clothes that you didn't wear, and then you would just take those clothes and just say, all right, I'm gonna donate these or sell them or whatever you wanna do with them. So I had like three giant trash bags of stuff. So I sorted things to sell, like the more expensive items. I also had a box of just things that weren't necessarily expensive, but like they're really good enough to sell at a yard sale. And then I also had a box of things that are just kind of like trash, like a lot of craft supplies and just like, like random like little things that I don't really know. And to sell items, just as a general tip, um, I really like the Facebook Marketplace. I just posted some of the stuff um, like an hour ago and I already have like a bunch of messages from people wanting to look at it and pick it up. You don't have to worry about driving anywhere, you don't have to worry about shipping, and then the people just come to you and then you just exchange it right there. After I cleaned everything out of my room, then I went and like dusted everything, sweeped, mopped, did all that good stuff, and I feel so much more at ease, let me tell you. Like, I think having a messy room just makes me like a little bit anxious and stressed just because it's like too much, it's like it's overwhelming almost, but I definitely feel much more, um, relaxed, I guess. And another thing I really like about having less stuff is that you don't have to make so many decisions. Like, by having a smaller closet of only things that you really like, you don't have as hard of a time making an outfit because you like everything. So I think that's about it on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want more on this like minimalism kind of stuff, then make sure to comment that below and like this video to let me know. Also, if you guys have any other video requests, comment those down below. I always read and respond to your comments. Um, and I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do that and click the notification bell so you get notified every time that I post a new video. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. It is hot.